Today on the channel, the NWO is back. John Cena, ringside exclusive from Mattel. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Mattel WWE Elite unboxing and review. But today we've got a special one. We've got the Ringside Collectibles exclusive John Cena. And remember, use discount code KYLE, saves you 10% at Ringside Collectibles. Uh, NWO version of John Cena from WrestleMania 2020. A uh, very cool moment in WrestleMania history. I don't know. It was a cool moment at the time to see John Cena in NWO gear. If, well, kind of what could have been. Maybe he'll bring it back. Who knows? But I saw it and I smelled it eventually. I knew that would be a figure in some form. This is a perfect ringside collectibles exclusive. Deep cuts, deep exclusive. I like the idea of this. Just a really great idea all around. Uh, so we're going to talk about it. We're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. But the first thing you notice is the really cool packaging. Black and white NWO themed packaging. Really cool. Very similar to the ringside exclusive packagings we've had in the past with uh, Kane Undertaker 2-pack, a 2-in-1 pack, I guess we'd call it. Uh, and then, of course, the Bray Wyatt Fire Left Firefly Funhouse set. Uh, really can go with this. And I know a lot of people will display this John Cena with that. Uh, so we've seen this packaging before. Uh, we saw it with the Edge Heads as well. Uh, Ultimate Warrior, the new uh, WrestleMania Ultimate Warrior ringside exclusive, kind of a similar type packaging. But my main gripe here is, and I don't like this at all actually, and we'll talk about it right now. I don't like this packaging because you can't see the figure at all. You can't see him. So the box does rip. It does tear in the front, so it has the window panes that open. But guess what? If you're a mint on card guy, you open up these window panes, it's no longer a mint on card figure. I'm sorry. You can try to convince yourself that, but uh, in my book, it is not mint on card. You've uh, perf the perfer peripheral, what is it called? I don't know. You've, it's been opened. It's been opened. You opened up the window. It's no longer mint on card. I can't remember my words today. Um, so there's that. So I don't like that. I like to be able to see my figures because it's just a, is there a figure in here? It's just a box at this point. So uh, I get it. I'm sure this kind of disappoints a lot of mint on card collectors out there. I think they could do without this front panel and just put the window box in there. I think that would look a heck of a lot better, but that's one man's opinion. But what say you, you guys tell me in the comments uh, down below, of course. But let's take a look at the packaging. Right there, tradition. Let's say tradition bites. NWA, NWA, NWA for life. That's right, right here. Tradition bites. NWO for life. Ringside exclusive packaging right there. John Cena, WWE. You got the uh, NWO at the very top. New World Order, Mattel. You got Gene, John, Gene Cena. You got John Cena. I can't talk today. You got John Cena on the side. You got the Elite logo. Little glamour shot, black and white action. Then you got the same one on the other side, but colorized. So that's interesting. Warnings and everything else on the bottom there. And then, of course, we got the back. A bigger black and white glamour shot of John Cena there. It's been so long since I've seen what this figure looks like. I can't even remember. Does he come with the belt? Does he come with the hat? I got to assume he comes with all that stuff. But like I said, it's been so long since I ordered this. I've forgotten about it. I haven't seen any other reviews on this. It is what it is. So I'm going to be surprised just like you guys. He's got the uh, big blurb at the bottom. That's War and Peace uh, for these days. But we're going to read it. We're going to do it all. Hopefully I can get through it. Uh, for life, question mark. WrestleMania 36, the WrestleMania too big for just one night, was full of shocks and surprises. Capped off by the most shocking, surprising match in WrestleMania history. The Firefly Funhouse match between Bray Wyatt and John Cena. Nobody knew what to expect, least of all John Cena. From the moment the match started, it was clear there was no ordinary contest. Rather than bell-to-bell -bell action, the Firefly Funhouse match was a waking nightmare. Cena relived career moment after career moment, each twisted with fabricated failures. All except for one moment that never happened, where John Cena abandoned his legacy as a hero of the people and joined the NWO. In the end, it was another illusion of Wyatt's making. Cena sank deeper into his own personal horrors within the Funhouse and has not been seen in WWE since. So there you go. Oh boy, watch out. I don't know. I know he's supposed to be coming back to Raw very soon. I believe I heard that somewhere. So we'll see where that goes. But hasn't had a match since. So now how does a guy go about opening this? I guess I'm going to open up this window box and see what's going on here. 
It's just, uh, you just tear it right down the middle. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. You guys know it hard on a mint on card guy. You guys know that. Fold these back, and there it is. I mean, it looks cool. I just think the packaging would be way better on this one if this was just totally removed and it was a window box, similar to that Ultimate Warrior. There it is, John Cena. You can see him right in there. You got the extra hands. Got two extra sets of hands and the NWO title belt. I don't know about that face on him. And then you got the WCW Monday Nitro background. That is pretty solid as well. So I can see a lot of people wanting to save that in the future. Let me cut the top box. I'll go through the top on this one. I don't know, beautiful packaging, that's for sure. Oh, boy. All right. There it is. See you later. So we've seen this before with the Warrior, the Edgeheads, uh, the Bray Wyatt. We got a little background that you can keep. So I definitely have to save that. That's pretty cool. You put that out there. It's uh, like an entrance stage. I don't really got room for any of these, but I save them. You never know. There might be a rainy day when I uh, move and get a new house and have all kinds of room. Maybe I'll do that. Tradition Bites, NWO for life. I love the big WCW letters. Really takes you back. Takes me back to my childhood. There it is. See you later. How about a little plastic prison? There's Cena. He's got the NWO hat on, the extra hands, like we said. And he's got the NWO title belt. Very cool. Very cool that he's posed in the package, too. I always like that. I always appreciate that. Let's cut him out. He's got rubber bands going on. There it is. Let's see these hands here. What hands do we want to use? I don't know. I'm at a bit of a loss what hands to use on this one. Can I get this out? Come on. Geez, stuck in there. These big open hands, hard to get out. Why will you not come out? There it is, geez. Take all day. I'm a, I'm a rookie, somewhat. Breaking twist ties, breaking stuff. See you later, get out of here. All right, we got a soft goods shirt. I do like that, of course. I don't know about this head scan. That thing catches you by guard. He's mean mugging, but it just looks strange. John Cena's haircut is always strange to me as well. It always kind of looks a little different. Double jointed uh, legs or knees down here. So that's one thing to notice. Single jointed arms, elbows. Got a little bit of a loose ab crunch. Not terrible. We've had worse, but just a, a hair loose. I definitely like the soft goods NWO jacket. I really do like that. Uh, I'm a big fan of those. Does come with an NWO hat. Fits pretty good on his head. Very interesting. Oh, it's a moment in time. It's definitely a strange moment in time. You use ringside collectible stand. Discount code Kyle. Save 10%, of course. Just stick him on that stand just to have him here. I don't know. How about the NWO belt? Very shiny. And you got the NWO letters. I think it's a little different than the one we got with Hogan, but it should be the same. But it, for some reason, it feels like it's different. Hand-wise, I'm not sure which way to go. I'm not a big fan of these open palm hands. The fingers just seem entirely too long on these. I've always kind of felt that. Uh, maybe you guys agree. I think he has to have at least one NWO sweet hand, doesn't he? I, I think he has to. I think it just makes sense with him being NWO John Cena at least for one night. Yeah, I, th I think it has to be. Uh, if you guys remember back uh, right after that WrestleMania on the channel, I had some spare parts, some spare figures, and I made my very own NWO John Cena. Uh, not quite as good as this one, I would say, but it, it fit in a pinch temporarily. So I do have this one. Uh, I think it was an extra top pick, so I got for like $2, uh, $2 basic uh, top pick scene I found, and then I had an extra Razor, I think this was Razor Ramon from a battle pack, just did the simple head swap over, and bam, you got NWO John Cena. Obviously, I can retire this from my collection, but I should move this to another NWO. Is there another NWO member out there that I have an extra head for that I could turn this into an NWO person? I don't know. I'm going to have to sit and think because I'd like to get some reuse out of this. We don't get NWO figures all the time. It would be great to build out the rest of the crew, but I'm not sure exactly who I could use. I don't know. I do have Ted DiBiase extra heads from the Mattel Legend line, but I have plans for that with a different figure. I don't know if there's anybody. I might just have to play the lading game and just uh, kind of wait there. But boy, you compare these two, it's night and day. However, I think I like this head sculpt better. I don't like this mean, like, duck lips, mean mug and Cena. It looks a little strange, but I guess he did look like that. He was doing that when he was playing the guitar with the belt, all that fun stuff. So it does make sense. I don't know. What say you? You guys like this? Did you pick this one up? 
Uh, to me, this is the perfect exclusive. Uh, you don't want to have you exclusive should be for the hardcore fans. You're a hardcore wrestling figure fan if you're buying off ringside collectibles. You're taking that time to search the internet, to search to a wrestling specific store to buy figures from. You're a hardcore fan if you're buying from ringside. Uh, casual fans out there that you know the kids and stuff, all that kind of stuff. This isn't necessarily going to be for them. They, they would say, well, John Cena had to be able, that was just one second on pass on this. Limited edition exclusive makes sense for things like this. And this is why we love places like Ringside Collectibles that gets these exclusives. Because I don't think they would go to market without Ringside's help. Uh, say what you want about that. Uh, but others like the Undertaker uh, two-in-one figure, I could see that would sell at the, at the uh, traditional retail. Ultimate Warrior, he's going to sell wherever. He's got face paint. You could sell him anywhere. You could sell him at a, a farm and pet store and he'd blow off the shelves because people love Ultimate Warrior. They see face paint on a figure, they're not passing that up. I don't care if they're at uh, my wife's nail salon. If they had those in the pegs at the nail salon, they'd be picking that warrior up. But Cena, this is a deep cut. This is as deep as it gets in modern day WWE, I think, as wrestling figures. And I appreciate it. The only things I would really change in this whole ringside exclusive pack, John Cena, is the packaging. Phenomenal packaging, but tear off those cardboards. Don't do that to us. We want to be able to see the figure through the packaging. Uh, we want it to be, if we're a min on card collector, we want to see the figure on display. Uh, I would take that away, and I hope they did. I thought that kind of changed with the Ultimate Warrior figure we got from WrestleMania 12, but apparently they're back at it. So we'll see what the future holds for those exclusives. But like I said, what say you? Did you pick this one up? Are you planning on picking it up? Are you playing the long game? Was this an easy pass? I could see a lot of people saying this is an easy pass for me. Um, but you guys tell me in the comments what you think. Don't forget to like the video, of course. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're growing every day. Uh, turn your notification bell. Tell a friend. Tell a phone. Tell a wrestler, as they say. Uh, we'll keep jumping. And once we get to 10,000 subscribers, we got a big celebration planned. We'll do big giveaways. we got a lot of stuff to give away. I'm going to try to get my dad on the channel. We'll do some other fun things when we hit 10,000. But got to subscribe to get there. So tell a friend and make sure you're subscribed as well. So... For John Cena, Ringside Collectibles Exclusive, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.